welcome back to my workshop. Here we are at the start of another project and this time we're going to try a little bit of an experiment. What I want to do is I'm going to be making another bag but this time I'm going to be mixing up the materials that I'm using. So the basis of the bag is going to be this nice piece of red leather but into it I'm going to put a panel of this upholstery fabric. So what we're going to do is to sew a panel of this material into the middle of this material. Sounds really simple when you say it like that, but I've never done it before. Let's see how we get on. So as you can see, I've marked out on the back of this piece of leather um, the various panels we need to cut out. So very quickly, we'll just quickly do that. We'll put these bits to one side, we'll deal with those in a minute. And this is the bit we're going to be working on. This is going to be the back of the bag, which is going to bend over like that. And it's into the centre of here that we need to inset our pan. So we're going to, first of all, mark out for the inset. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark this out using a gel pen. I always work a gel pen because you can always rub that out afterwards. Is I want to make a 30 mil border into which we're then going to put the fabric panel. We're going to glue it in place so we don't have to worry too much about the gel pen marks because they won't be seen. I would prepare this the same way as I've done every other panel I'll ever use. So having now polished the sides, although I've not polished the outside yet, and that will become the reason for that will become obvious in a minute. So I'm going to use this tool here, which is a screw creaser, and I'm just going to run a line down here. And I'll do that on all four sides. Now this bag is going to have an awful lot of stitching involved. It's going to take a little while to do it. So I won't be showing you all the stitching because you'd be bored stiff. But the principle is the same all the way through. So I'll show you how we start off. Now I'll start off with a pair of dividers. I think you call them a pair of dividers. And I run a line about six millimeters in from the edge. I then mark out the stitches <coughs> with this stitch marker and you follow the line you've just scribed and I'll go and do this I'll do this all the way down this side around all four sides and then I'm also going to do it on the inside here around four sides because I want to sew this panel in I don't want this to go anywhere so there through the magic of video I've stitch marked it and I've now cut myself a panel of the material so you can start to see what we're trying to get at now the panel is much bigger than the leather so what I'm now going to do is I'm going to run glue all the way around here and then we'll glue it on top like that hopefully line it up, it actually fits quite nicely on that material and then we'll leave that overnight to dry so the glue's had a couple of hours to dry and so now what I'm quickly going to do is stitch around the opening of the panel I'm already starting to discover the problems, it's very hard to find the hole where the needle has to go on the other side. And it's not, not a very solid surface to sew. But never mind, unless you try these things you'll never know. So we've reached a point in the project where I've now stitched a little bit of the way around there. And I need to start thinking about 
how we're going to shut the bag and what we're going to do on the back. So this is the piece of leather that's going on the inside of the flap of the bag. Now, we need to stop and consider how we're going to fasten the bag. And for this, I thought I'd use these magnetic fasteners. I've used these recently quite a few times. I quite like them. And this needs to go somewhere in there. Now, I need to cut it around here, but I just need to make sure that if I do it the same thickness as that, I'm leaving myself enough room to actually do any sewing. We'll just quickly fit this little buckle into here, and then this plate fits over the edge, and then we just bend the ends in. Push them down nice and tight, and that will then become the clasp on our bag. So this piece is now ready to be sewn on the back, and I'll incorporate that as I continue sewing round, just to make life that little bit more interesting. In a sort of a sleepless moment in the middle of the night, I decided I needed to have a lining. So I've got this material here, which came from the Queen's Milliners of all people. And they might be the Queen's Milliners, I have to say they were a miserable bunch of people. So that will then get sewn in as I go around. I won't attach it until I get to this bit. It will all become plain in a minute. Believe it or not, I do have a plan. Now, hopefully you're, you enjoy this video. If you do, have a look at the rest of my channel. You'll see there's lots of other videos to look at on all sorts of subjects. You can also sign up for my blog, which is tomgreencraft.com, or you can join me on Facebook, Thomas Green. Well, we've now finished the front of the bag, so that's all now sewn together. That all fits quite nicely. So it's time to turn to the sides. Now I've cut myself a couple of pieces of leather which are going to be the sides of the bag. I've cut them to size, I've stained the edges and I've polished them. I've then made these little lugs and these are going to be the bit that the strap attaches to on the side of the bag. So I've got two of those and I've got these square rings which is what's going to hold the strap. The last thing I've done is I've skived the ends here, so when you bend the two pieces together it bevels in and it makes a nice neat join. We don't end up with a big nasty lump somewhere around there. So that's the lugs sewn onto the side. I'm rather pleased with that, that's some of my best sewing. So as I've explained this is a bit of an experimental bag, so I'm looking at the ways that I do things and questioning whether it's the right way to do it. So what I would normally do is I would sew these pieces together and then sew that onto the back of the bag. Because I'm now working with an extra layer of material or two if you allow for the lining, this is going to be much harder to do. So what I'm going to try doing is actually sewing the bottom and then the two sides on first. Um, and then I'll actually sew up that bit there. Don't know if it's going to work, it might be easier, it might be harder, but we'll find out as we go. As you can see I've already sewn in the sides and now I'm sewing in what will be the front of the bag. It's just a slow process. Well there you go, that's the very last stitch done on the bag itself. I must say it's been a challenging bag to stitch. I'm not sure I'd rush to make another fusion bag like this. The last job I've got to do on the bag itself is to put the other half of the buckle, which is going to go somewhere around there. So we'll mark that, put that in. And then all that remains is to make the strap. Now as you can see, in order to make the strap, I've cut myself a piece of leather. This is the same red leather that we've been using throughout. It's 30 millimetres wide by however long it is. And I've marked at either end 100 millimetres in from each end and I've made 
two marks. And what I'm going to do is using my little hole punch is first of all, I'm going to make a hole. One there. And one there. And I should do the same at both ends. The next job is to cut a, a slit between the two holes at either end. So we end up with three straps, but held together at either end. So as you can see, I've started to do my plaiting. And the trick is you plait and slide it through as you go. Just like plaiting somebody's hair, really. If you want to know a bit more about it, there's a lovely book. You can get this leather braiding book. It tells you how to make whips and everything. Um, it's a wonderful little book. It's very simply produced, but it's an absolute mine of information. So I'll quickly get to the end of this and then we'll attach it to the bag. So amazingly, despite the fact that both ends are still connected, it's still a solid piece, we've managed to make a braided handle to go all the way through now that just needs to be worked a bit just to get the braid to lay flat um, but that's come out rather well I'm rather pleased with that so now we're going to attach that to the bag well hopefully you enjoyed that video and you never know you might even have learned something so here we have the finished item so as you can see we have a, a bag that was made partly out of upholstery material partly out of leather, it's got a rather nice lining and it's also got a magnetic catch and by way of an experiment we've put a braided handle on it, the braided handle just needs to be used a few times and that will soon soften up but I think that's come out rather well, there's a few experiments there, I wouldn't perhaps do it the same way next time I did it but as an experiment, as a bag, I think that's come out rather well. I always welcome people's comments, so if you'd like to get in touch, do get in touch either through the website or have a look at tombrowncraft.com, which is my blog. Keep up with what I'm doing. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.